Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Ladder Squad? So we are doing another video. It's it's patch day, obviously. And there's some things that are just crazy strong. Like Apollo, he, I mean, look, he needed some love, but this is a lot of love. <laughs> they buffed his passive. They buffed his one. They buffed his two. And they buffed his alt. So the only thing they didn't buff was his three. They buffed every aspect of Apollo's kit all at once, basically, which makes me think he's going to be insanely good. Um, For those of you who don't know, by the way, because why would you? Um, Back in Season 1 and Season 2, because Apollo is one of uh, Smite's original characters. Um, Back in Season 1 and Season 2, Apollo was actually meta. Like, he was probably the best hunter in the game. He would beat Uller... He would beat Hoi Yi. And the reason for that is because his two back in the day, it gave you 50 physical protections and 50 magical protections whenever you used it. They have since lowered it to 30 um, and taken away the magical protections. Now they're giving back the magical protections. So you have better matchups versus mages again, which is huge. Um, and they're giving him back damage and projectile speed on his one, which they previously took away. So... Them taking away, them taking away damage and projectile speed and magic mitigations way back in like season three completely removed him out of the meta. And then they nerfed his physical protections he got from the two and he got even worse. And now it's back kind of, you know, now he's, now he's kind of like, he's in, he's ready. Every aspect of his kit is just better. I mean, not as three. His three is the exact same. But still, like, you're one doing 5% more damage. But the, the the big thing is the travel time. Obviously, the travel time of the one was really slow before. And um, if you use your one, like, let's say you were chasing someone and you used your one, they would outrun your one because it didn't travel fast enough to get to them in time. Um, Even though they are, like, glowing red and you can you can hit them. Now you're actually able to hit them when they're running away. And on top of that, you have 20% um, projectile speed on your passive, which is kind of like a shitty Griffin wing. But if you get Griffin wing, those passive auto attacks are straight up hit scan. Dude. Like, like you're playing call of duty four. you're, you're, you're back or, or like uh, you're, you're fucking quick scoping on terminal, you know, like, I don't know. It's sick. I'm excited to see it. Arachne also got some massive buffs, which I will do a video on. Um, there's so many videos I want to do. There's Arachne buff I want to do. There's Kabraken change and um, potentially Athena. Um, ow. Oh, God, that was close. Uh, yeah, there's just like a lot of changes. I missed. I missed twice. He does a lot of damage. Um, One thing I will say about Arachne is one of the buffs was actually decoupling the stun from the attack speed. Stim. And if you don't know what that means, I'll explain it to you. So Arachne beforehand, a lot of people will know this, but Arachne's two was an attack speed stim up to 70%. It was a very strong stim actually. Um, however, you never really felt it because it went away once you actually landed your stun. You had a 70% attack speed stim for exactly three auto attacks, which makes no sense. Um, the difference now is that it actually keeps up your, um, by the way, I should have gone golden gooseberry. I didn't buy it, Oops. but the difference now is that when you stun someone, you still have that attack speed stim on Arachne. So your burst damage is really good. 
So be careful of Arachne players. They are going to do a lot of damage to you. But regardless, I mean, the buffs to Apollo are just like so nice. Yeah, do you see how fast those autos are from my passive? Holy shit. With Griffin Wing. I just want to show you, man. Look at how fast these are. Max range. Cow, 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 cow. Uh oh. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage right now. Um, actually, hold up. So my alt got a, a bunch of changes. Oh no. Oh no. Nice. My alt got a bunch of changes on Apollo. That was really close because I almost died to him. I don't know why he didn't alt. Maybe he doesn't have it. Maybe he's maxing his fighters. Um, but basically, you're, the time you land, or the time it takes to land, I should say, is a quarter of a second faster, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was 0.8 seconds. So it was, it was more than like, it's like a 30% buff to how fast you land. The damage of your, um, your alt is increased, like the rate of damage. Which means I think you get an extra tick out of it. And then the amount of mana needed to alt or stay up in that alt has been significantly reduced. So, so there's a lot of massive changes. I think um, you're going to see a lot of Apollos because there's two reasons. Because all of his buffs make him really, really good. Like Apollo's always been really good against... Um, assassins or just gods that ha are physical, right? Like hunters, assassins, warriors. Apollo's always been really good against those. But now that his two gives magic protection again, and it's not even like a little bit, it's 30, which is a ton because all of the protections and, and uh, power and stuff got reduced recently, right? So like... 30 protections is almost a full-ass protection item that you get just because you're Apollo. But you're going to be seeing a lot of Apollos for three reasons. One, uh, a lot of a lot of physical gods got a lot better. Like Osiris, Arachne, Chernobog, Pele, um, King Arthur. There's, like a, there's a bunch of them. Amaterasu... Nemesis, like there's just a lot of physical gods that got buffs this patch, which obviously makes Apollo a little bit good. And then on top of that, um, Arachne getting buffed means people are going to be playing her. Oh man, look at that. You can actually get Golden Blade on Apollo now because of Golden Gooseberries. That's crazy. But, uh,. Apollo's going to be played a lot because of all the buffs that other gods got. The fact that he can deal with mages. Because he couldn't... He, I mean, let's be honest. He sucked ass at dealing with mages before. Ever since they removed his... His magic protection from his two. He's been pretty terrible at it. So the fact that it's back now... Is just absurd. And then three, Apollo himself got buffed. You know? So you can deal with all types of characters and the god himself got buffed with quality of life changes and just straight up damage changes. Like damage increases. Dude, the fact that Golden Gooseberries works on arranged characters scares me a little bit. Because it reminds me a whole lot of Golden Bow. Obviously, it doesn't give you any stats, so it's not like as good as Golden Bow, but it's giving me that vibe, which is a little terrifying if you're an OG player like I am. Golden Bow is 
the it, obviously because it was removed from the game and never brought back in any kind of circumstance. Um, I think Golden Bow is probably the most broken item in Smite's history. It gave you attack speed, it gave you clear, it gave you pen, and it gave you crit, <laughs> and it gave you power. Like it was such, it was such a good item. And you could build it on everyone, by the way. You built it on not only like physical or not only melee gods, but like you could build it on hunters. Golden Gooseberries is giving me that vibe. I don't think this Arachne can do literally anything. Okay. That was his beads. I don't know if it was his shell, but that was his beads, and he did nothing to me. I don't know, man. Oh, that one feels so good, too. Like, I have 4,000 gold. You might be saying, Sam, you're 2,200 gold ahead. Yeah? Am I, though? Because I'm holding 4,000 gold. <laughs> There's, like... Like, I'm actually kind of 2,000 gold behind. This is absurd. I think I might be an Apollo main again. I did play a lot of Apollo back in the day, by the way, when he was meta. I played a lot of Mercury, Poseidon, and Apollo. Um, I don't know, man. I'm feeling the Apollo fever. Let's just go beads. Actually, I'll even upgrade it. And actually, I can ult. Because my ult does not take much mana anymore. Going from Phoenix to Phoenix in duel before with this build would like make you oom. Um. Ouch. No, I missed everything. Oh man. That was that was the game. That was GG, but I suck. What an unfortunate series of events. <laughs> and I can just kind of sit here and lifesteal off of you. And then... very strong this is very strong I'm missing all my auto attacks all right that's what I was waiting for I was just waiting for the Phoenix to spawn so I could Grab that before I backed. And then I want to go get Kins. Because he does actually have a decent amount of HP. Because Midgard gives so much of it. And then I guess I could ult in if I wanted to. Um, I don't really need to ult in. Ah, whatever. You don't need to do a lot of things in life. But ulting is fun. Let's do it. I miss. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed so many autos, dude. 
I missed so many autos. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. Look how much he healed. Look how much damage I did. 2300 plus like another, what is that? 500? It's 2800 plus another 240. Dude, I did 3000 damage. He has 2100 health. 2300 health, I guess. Okay, fair enough. Let's go. Let's just go Toxic Blade. <laughs> I missed so many autos that fight. That was stupid. He also used uh, both of his relics. And he didn't get anything off of it. And he got a bunch of gold and XP, don't get me wrong, but like... I think both of us know that's not going to do anything for him. Backed. Normal back. It's so hard for him, man. Like, he was trying to juke my two so hard right there. But I, I simply waited. I mean, like, what do you do against that? Oh, jeez. Bro, I missed like 18 auto attacks. I missed like 18 autos. I'm so bad. That's okay. I'm straight chilling, dude. I think I would have to like really fuck up to lose this game. And I'm getting there. Don't get me wrong. But like. Am I though? You know? <laughs> oh man. Alright, I guess I'll just do blue buff. I guess increased cooldowns can't be bad, right? He's got to stop me from doing this, uh, this Phoenix now. I cannot land anything. <laughs> oh my God. But I'm actually getting clapped. Ugh. Um. Did he alt? Did he just? What did I hear? Oh, bull demon probably. No. Oh, maybe that was him pressing three at my. My tower. Maybe. I don't know. Um, that double defense is doing work. So especially because I have no defense. I will sell my gooseberries, by the way. But I, uh, I need the gold in order to sell them for like something.
Yeah, he can't really do much right now. I think I stop his back for sure right now. There we go. There we go. GG. Definitely much harder than it had to be. Because I was trolling with my ult a lot. Just going straight into a fight for no reason. And uh, overstaying my welcome and doing dumb shit. But there is just no way you lose this game as Apollo. Even with all the trolling and no defense against a double defense Arachne who just got mega buffed, it, it, still, it still doesn't matter. Like, Apollo is so good at dealing with physical gods regardless. And then on top of it, he gets buffed for a little bit more damage, more projectile speed, and a better ult. And you'd expect nothing to change. Like, you'd, you'd expect him to still be very, very good against physical gods. I mean, look at the damage. He did 14, I did 32. Like, I was just, I was punching him in the head, and all he could do is walk away slowly. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.